<laughs> golf is such an individual sport, so it's really hard sometimes to um, bring a group together um, when they've their whole life competed separately. And mm. now we, we really have a group. We've made that really clear objective to grow together as one because we can't win a national championship with one player. We have to do it collectively as a group, and um, we have a, a special a special group in the locker room this year. Yeah. Shona, you have a lot of talented uh, people in that locker room as well, and not just Reagan, but you have some younger talent too, right? Uh, I'm, I'm Maria, am I correct yeah, on that? She, um, she, wow. Yeah, she's she's a wow. <laughs> I think they're all they all we'll all say that about her. Um, you know, she she comes in very decorated. I think she's 31 in the world amateur golf rankings, which is pretty incredible. Um, coming from Cali, Colombia, had a runner-up finish this past week at the Carmel Cup. Um, she definitely um, is very seasoned, but also a good person to learn from and she's fitting in really well with the girls are taking really good care of her you know to come to another country English is not her first language um, we really threw her in the fire with the first seven days of of coming to America <laughs> and taking you know jumping on the plane you're playing college golf it's so they've been amazing with her and you know we have a lot of depth this year um, which excites me as a coach which creates great competition within our practices you know we have another freshman abby shoot comes from arizona very solid i mean it's it's i could go we could have a different lineup every week and have an opportunity to win so um depth is is really important in what we do and like every sport and excited about um, the depth that we have this year wow can you talk a little bit about maria as a teammate talking to <laughs> you see that she came from a different country there yeah. was a learning curve but as a freshman i think she's doing great she's doing amazing and i think like the best thing about her is that i don't even think she realizes how good of a job she's doing she just shows up hits some golf balls goes and plays leaves does goes to school like she she's just a normal kid who i mean not to mention she's 17. Yeah, so she's, she like, just turned 17. Yeah. <laughs> she's a kid, you know? And I think, yeah, I mean, she's amazing. She's funny. Uh, she loves to have fun, which is good. And, uh, yeah, she's great. We oh, love her. I love to hear that. Mm -hmm. that is, it's so nice to hear you talk about the team. And it's just such a positive vibe. And, and it's just such good. We talked about the camaraderie. Mm -hmm. I love to see that because it, it is an individual sport. But it at is. this level... You need to have that team camaraderie to go and support each other yeah. and make sure that everybody is doing what they need to do. And I think that is really going to help you guys going into the season. We talked a little bit about the interview as well, about some of the things you have coming up, Shauna. Talk about that. Yeah, we have a busy couple of weeks. Uh, we're lucky, obviously, to host the LPGA event at the end of the month. Um, we're bringing the best players in the world, and our team gets a, a front row seat into that. Reagan's in the Monday qualifier, along with Kajal Mystery and Kendall Todd. Uh, Miriam Ayora will be the sponsor's exemption that'll get to play in the event. Um, so a super busy week. We get really involved with the community engagement opportunities there, too. And then Literally, the final round of the LPGA event is the practice round for the Blessings Collegiate at Blessings um, on television. Um, so we'll roll right into that. So we have a busy couple of weeks coming up, but um, it's always awesome to play at home in front of our fans in Razorback Nation. It's a special time, not only with the LPGA, but being able to play at home at Blessings is an absolute treat.